I'm Lorianne. And I'm Megan. Welcome, Welcome to, to Dare to Dream. Dream. Here we'll explore some famous and not so famous contributors to life as we know it. Each week we'll highlight a different person and have an activity that's going to get you thinking, creating, and problem solving. This is part of Nina Library's Take and Create series. Stop by the library to check out a kit with all of the materials you'll need to follow along with us later in this video. Today's Dare to Dream is inspired by the book, The Last Plastic Straw, a plastic problem and finding ways to fix it. Highlighting the contributor, Marvin Stone, who is accredited with creating the paper drinking straw. It also highlights Milo Kress, the nine-year-old boy who initiated the V Straw Free campaign after finding out that over 500 million plastic straws end up in landfills each year. Stick with us to the end of the video to create your own paper straw. As the weather warms up, you might find yourself drinking from a straw more often, but have you ever wondered where straws came from? Ancient civilizations created straws out of reeds, a type of hollow grass. Over thousands of years, people created straws from a variety of materials. They used gold, silver, bronze, and plant stalks. Plants became the popular choice, and in the 1800s, people used dry stalks of grain called straw in their drinks. That's why we still call them straws today. The only problem was that the grain straws left gritty bits in the drink, making it taste grassy. Marvin Stone was fed up with the grassy taste, so he wrapped a pencil in paper, using glue to hold it together, and by 1888, the straight straw was invented. Marvin invented a machine to roll the straws and soon was making two million straws a day. Straws became more and more popular, but children and hospital patients struggled to drink from the straight straws. In 1937, Joseph Friedman had the idea to put a screw in the straw and tie floss around it to create grooves, allowing the straw to bend. Before long, companies started making plastic straws, which were more durable than the paper ones, but they were so durable that they stayed around forever. Single-use plastic, like the plastic used in straws, is not biodegradable, which means that nature cannot dissolve it. The plastic ends up in the ocean and hurts birds, fish, sea turtles, and all sorts of sea life. So in 2011, a nine-year-old boy named Milo Kress began the Be Straw Free campaign. Because of his campaign, many people and companies are switching back to paper straws to keep plastic out of the oceans and landfills. Some countries even banned plastic straws entirely. There are currently straws you can use that are safer for sea life, like metal, bamboo, and of course, paper straws. You can help reduce plastic in our oceans by saying no to plastic straws at restaurants or at home. If we all start small, we can make a big impact.